I'd like to look at a few scenarios where people have considered how, how to approach data delivery, which I, I once again think holds significant risks. And, you know, since this is a conference for developers, I feel it's just useful to kind of describe some of those risks and put those out in front of people. Um, the, the first risk is the idea that we're going to go to individual exchanges instead of a data aggregator and that we're somehow going to get something called market coverage. So market coverage is very important because if you don't cover a part of the market where volume could suddenly shift to, you're suddenly not getting an accurate price. This is why all real financial products are, are, are fed through, you know, fed with data from high quality data firms. It's because they, they smooth out this risk. And I've seen people start to make a data aggregation product together with an Oracle. And, and this is an extremely worrying situation because the ability for people to make a data aggregation product is a unique skill set. We actually rely on high quality data aggregators and they feed data into, into our contract. So let me just walk you through how a scenario like this can fail in a very clear and obvious uh, way. So let's say you, you, you started with ABC exchange, but then D and E exchange showed up. And you know on Tuesday you were at ABC exchange and everything looked great. But then because you're not actually writing a data, running a data aggregation or a data company, D and E exchange show up and now they have all the volume. Well, well, guess what? All an attacker has to do is they now have to manipulate the thinly traded markets that you started with. And because you're not writing a data company and you don't have a team of 5, 15 or 20 people like some of the data providers that we work with, you're suddenly hugely exposed. And this architectural decision alone, which I've seen people start to make, uh, can expose their contract to massive, massive risk of failure can cause loss and that loss will then start to color our entire space, which I would I would love to avoid. So this is one scenario that I, I think people should strongly, strongly avoid. And I, I think anybody who's started going down this path should talk to people who have made financial products and who have used high quality data to make those products and seriously consider whether uh, this is a risk that's worthwhile because in, in my opinion, it's, it's, a, it's a very serious risk.